In the Class 1 Rural Playoff Bracket, four of the eight remaining football teams statewide are from our area. In Region 2, you've got the storied Blue Bloods of the Panhandle, Port St. Joe and Bluntstown. In Region 1, however, it's a little bit of a different story. One seed Bozeman and two seed Holmes County took care of business in the region semifinals last week, both coming off a first round bye. The Blue Devils defeated their biggest rivals, Chipley, for the second time this season, punching their ticket to the region finals for the first time since 2011 with a chance of reaching the state semifinals for the first time since 1987. It's not stretching to say it's historic. Um, you know, like we said, 36 years is a long time. Um, and so, uh, you know, sometimes the you know younger generation doesn't always look at things that way. As you get a little bit older, some of those things start to mean a little more. And, and I'm sure down the road, whenever these guys reflect back on it, it'll mean, you know, a little bit more. Right now, they're just, you know, they're football players wanting to play football. Bozeman, on the other hand, is brand new to the third round of the playoffs. A come from behind near walk-off victory over Northview last week secured the Bucks a spot in the region finals for their first time ever. We've taken it week by week and we've tried not to look too far ahead, you know, but we know that this week would punch our ticket to the Final Four. So, you know, our guys are focused. It's a great opportunity. Uh, we know it's difficult to beat any team twice in a season. Holmes County and Bozeman have already met once this season, the Bucks winning 29-16 on the road, locking up the one seed and ensuring this playoff matchup is on their home field. But both teams are well aware that Week 10 is a long ways in the rearview mirror. We beat them at their place, so they're going to want to beat us at our place. So that's why we can't we can't lose focus this week. We beat them once, but that doesn't mean we we can just show up. You know, we got to show up and show out. We're watching what they did to us. We're studying. We're making improvements. We know what we did wrong last game. It was not all them. It was mostly us just missing assignments, doing things wrong. And we're watching that, and we're making sure we do this right. I think a few plays here or there, if they go our way instead of theirs, you know, it's maybe a little different ball game. Um, but there is a little bit of revenge there. You know, obviously you want to, you know, anytime you get beat, you want to, you know, you want another crack at those guys. Bozeman is rewriting history, not just within their own school, but they're also leaving a mark on the county record books. Friday night will be the first home playoff game a Bay County High School has hosted since the Rutherford Coach Harden days in 2002. It's a historic event. I mean, we'd never done it. Bozeman has never done it, and it has been done in the county in a long time. Everybody talks about Rutherford now, like you just said, well now it's going to be us now. So it's, it's nice to know that like everybody's going to look back down on us and be like, that, hey, that was a team that hosted a game on Thanksgiving. There are a lot of uncertainties of how Bozeman Holmes County Part 2 will play out, but with the two high schools residing only 32 miles apart and it being the only show in town, the Bucks are anticipating the highest attendance of any sporting event in their school's existence. Playing a team a little closer with Bonifé, I think this place is going to it's going to be an absolutely electric environment for a football game, and I think it's going to be something that these guys will remember for the rest of their lives. It's being recommended those attending arrive an hour ahead of kickoff on Friday night if you want a chance at a seat. First kick is set for 7 p.m. Central. 